The American Helicopter XH-26 Jet Jeep was an experimental tip jet helicopter developed in 1951 by the American Helicopter Company to meet a United States Army and Air Force request for a collapsible and air-droppable observation helicopter. Jet nozzle at the tip of some helicopter rotor blades. A tip jet is a jet nozzle at the tip of some helicopter rotor blades, used to spin the rotor, much like a Catherine wheel firework. Tip jets replace the normal shaft drive and have the advantage of placing no torque on the airframe, thus not requiring the presence of a tail rotor. Tip jets can use compressed air, provided by a separate engine, to create jet thrust. Other types use a system that functions similarly to the afterburner on a conventional jet engine, except that instead of reheating a gas jet, they serve as the primary heater, creating greater thrust than the flow of pre-compressed air alone. The best description of this is thrust augmentation. If the helicopter's engine fails, the tip jets on the rotor increase the moment of inertia, hence permitting it to store energy, which makes performing a successful autorotation landing somewhat easier. The tip jet also typically generates significant extra air drag, which demands a higher sink rate and means that a very sudden transition to the landing flare must occur for survival, with little room for error. During the 1900s, Austrian Ludwig Wittgenstein investigated the use of tip jets to drive an aircraft propeller while studying aeronautical engineering at Manchester University, in the United Kingdom. During 1911, Wittgenstein was able to secure a patent related to his tip jet work. Despite the relatively early origins of the concept, achieving the next step of practical application proved to be highly difficult, largely due to propeller designs of the era being relatively primitive and incompatible with the design changes required to implement Wittgenstein's tip jets. Propellers of the period were typically wood, whereas more recent propeller blades are typically composed of composite materials or pressed steel laminates, the latter is manufactured as separate halves before being welded together, giving the blade a hollow interior and therefore an ideal pathway to channel the air and gas for a tip jet. Although the helicogyre did not use tip jets, being instead powered by piston engines positioned at the ends of the rotary wing, Isiko foresaw that these might be replaceable. Another pioneer in the field of tip jets was the Russian-American engineer Eugene Michael Glurev, the inventor of the Glurev pressure jet. The engineer August Stepan has been credited with producing the tip jet engines used by the British aircraft manufacturing interest Ferry Aviation. The second FB-1 was modified to investigate a tip jet-driven rotor coupled with a pair of propellers mounted on stub wings, it was later renamed the Jet Gyrodyne. Another rotorcraft developed by the firm, the Ferry Ultra Light Helicopter was a compact side-by-side -side two-seater vehicle that used tip jets powered by a single Turbomeca Pelos turbojet engine. The compressed air in cold tip jets generally exited at quite high temperatures due to compression heating effects, but they are referred to as cold jets to differentiate them from jets that burn fuel to heat the air for greater thrust, similar to the difference between the cold and hot exhausts on the Harrier jump jet, which uses cold air heated to several hundred degrees by compression inside the low-pressure compressor of the Pegasus engine. Ferry Jet Gyrodyne, UK experimental tip jet-powered rotor compound gyroplane, providing data for the Ferry Rotodyne. Ferry Rotodyne, UK compound gyroplane with rotor driven by tip jets for VTOL. 48-seater short-haul airliner design. Cancelled due to concern about noise of tip jets in service. The design of the original model XA-8 single-seat lightweight helicopter began in 1951 under the sponsorship of the U.S. Army Transportation Corps in the USAF. The Army's specification in 1950 called for a lightweight, one-man unarmed helicopter that was collapsible, capable of aerial delivery to troops in rugged terrain, and assembled quickly with simple tools. The helicopter was to be used for both light observation and as an air-droppable rescue vehicle for downed aircrews. After a review of all proposals American Helicopter was awarded the development contract in June 1951, based on its XA-8 design proposal. The first of five prototype XH-26s flew in January 1952. The XH-26 was constructed of aluminum, except for the aft fuselage, which was laminated fiberglass, and possessed a well-glazed, pyramidal-shaped cockpit. When collapsed, its 5 x 5 x 14 feet container fit on a trailer that could be towed by a military jeep. If stripped for airdrop, the jet jeep weighed less than 300 pounds. The XH-26 did not use any gears, or an internal engine like other helicopters. Rather, the jet jeep was powered by two 6.75-inch XPJ-49 pulse jet engines mounted on the end of each rotor blade tip as tip jets. Also designed by American Helicopter, each pulse jet weighed 16 pounds and produced 35 pounds force of thrust, and were started with an internal compressed air system. 
Since the engines did not have to be warmed up, the XH-26 could take off in 30 seconds. The pulse jets produced no torque, and the tiny, belt-driven tail rotor was used only to improve directional control. The only mechanical item that had to be replaced after so many hours of flight was the intake air vanes, which were small and inexpensive and could be replaced with a small tool in minutes. American Helicopter chose the name, Jet Jeep, because the XH-26 could be used like a Jeep, but in the air. It could be transported by a Jeep, and even used the same fuel. The XH-26 could be dropped by air and assembled and be ready for flight in 20 minutes. Both the Army and USAF evaluated the five prototype jet jeeps. They proved to be rugged and durable vehicles with a top speed of 80 miles per hour and a ceiling of 7,000 feet. The pulse jets produced an unacceptable amount of noise and the drag of the engines in the event of power loss would prevent safe landings by autorotation. For these two reasons the Army found the pulse jet helicopters unsuitable as it had those with ramjets. Finally, cost considerations forced the cancellation of the program. The replacement of the XH-26 Pulse jets with ramjets was suggested but never undertaken. However, the Hiller YH-32 Hornet helicopter was built using blade-tip ramjets.